So we have these dudes called the British Computer Society and they have a set of laws, a set of rules. We could call it practice, standards. We'll call it standards. Now, anyone who's a part of the BCS have to have lots of training and basically it means that they can charge more from when they're building computer systems. So they produce really good computer systems or houses in this case because they've had lots of training but they can charge a lot of money. Now if they break any of the laws of the BCS they'll be kicked out of the group which will mean that they will not be that reliable. However some businesses choose when they're making a computer system not to go for a company which has BCS instead they go for what are cheap companies now if you're not part of the BCS it means you don't have to confine by rules you can do what you want when you're making a computer system and it might end up looking like this an absolute sham unfinished jobs code which doesn't work and guess what? There's nothing you can do about it because they're not part of a BCS. You picked a company which has not got a standard of practice. That basically means that you're putting yourself in a dangerous situation. You're paying cheap, which means if it's not a good job, oh dear. Some professionals don't mean to do a bad job. They just take on jobs which they just cannot cope with. I've had my own experiences of that where I've paid for people to do work for me and it's been far too complicated for what they can do. They don't tell you, they just keep going and going and they do a really bad job. So remember, it's really important to have good professional standards. A lack of professional standards, which is what this is all about, you go and buy a company which doesn't have professional standards will cause issues. The BCS, companies which are members of the BCS mean that they've had a lot of good training and their rules they have to apply by.